Hey everyone, welcome back to Racky guys. Today we are taking a look at the Wilson Ultra 100 version 4.0. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep up with all of our latest content. Let's get started. Updated with a new construction and improved frame geometry, the Wilson Ultra 100 V4 is the latest update to the speedy and powerful Ultra lineup. With a 315 gram strung weight, four points headlight balance, a 70 flex rating, and a sub 320 swing weight, the listed specs of the Ultra 100 V4 are actually very similar to the V3 model. The big change made for version four was the addition of 45 into the layup for a softer, more comfortable feel, along with better stability and better ball pocketing. Also updated is Wilson's Sweet Spot channel, which has been expanded here for a little bit more power, along with a redesigned beam for a little more frame speed without sacrificing stability. Let's see how it played. The Ultra 100 V4 is a big improvement over the V3 in my opinion. The addition of 45 into the layup really helped make this version of the Ultra much more solid at impact than the older models. It also felt way more comfortable and that extra ball pocketing was really noticeable. I was surprised how under control my ground strokes were with the V4. Initially, I was afraid to really swing out as the frame is very powerful, but once I got over that worry, I was hitting really big, deep balls off both wings with ease. With a stiffness rating around 70, I also thought this was gonna feel very stiff, but the new beam and the addition of the 45 into the layup really dampens that feel and impact and adds a lot of pocketing that the V3 just does not have. Another thing of note is how stable this frame is at impact. For a frame with a sub 320 swing weight, this jacket is extremely stable. On volleys is where I noticed the lack of weight just a little bit. Having such a low swing weight made it very maneuverable, but it did lack a bit of stability, especially when trying to deal with the ball that was coming in a little bit faster. I really like the feel of the Ultra V4 on serve, even if I struggled a little bit on location. The low swing weight allows me to get the frame moving very quickly through my serve motion. I was able to hit with a ton of spin and power. This is especially noticeable on my kick serves, which were jumping way out of the court on the ad side. Overall, I think this is a fantastic update to the Ultra lineup. The extra stability and comfort added to the V4 really make a huge difference while still keeping with the speedy, powerful identity of the Ultra rackets. I would recommend the Ultra 100 V4 to intermediate players looking for a stable, easy to hit with frame that generates a ton of power and spin. On this playtest, they had the opportunity to review the Wilson Ultra 100 V4. With the changes that they made to this generation, they were noticeable right away from the start. I found that adding 45 weave and thinning out the shaft made this racket noticeably softer and more controlled compared to the previous generation. On ground strokes is where I was most surprised. I went into this review expecting the frame to feel very stiff, knowing the Ultra 100 had a stiffness rating of 70, but it so happens to be almost the complete opposite. I found that the Ultra 100 felt quite soft and offered really good dwell time, which allowed me to shape the ball nicely. Even with the ball sitting on the string bed for so long, I didn't find that there was any loss in energy return. I found the frame was actually a really nice blend of power and control with a medium launch angle. When it came to serves, I found that with this controlled power that the Ultra has to offer, I was more confident going for bigger, more aggressive second serves rather than something flat. I think that if the racket felt a little bit stiffer, I would get the crisper response that I personally enjoy. Volleys, I had no complaints. The racket performed quite well here for me. I was able to generate good depth in my punch volleys without having to sacrifice control when going for my drop volleys. The racket actually felt quite stable and it didn't get pushed around when I received heavier shots at the net. Overall, I'm really happy with the change Wilson made to the Ultra 100 V4, especially for the targeted audience it was meant for. There are usually very few power rackets that I would recommend for a beginner or intermediate player because of the stiffness of the frame but this racket just might be the exception. If you're looking for a racket that's very forgiving and offers a good balance of power and control, you should definitely give this a try. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions about the Wilson Ultra 100 version 4.0, or if you have any suggestions of rackets that you want us to take a look at, let us know down in the comments. 
As always, the Wilson Ultra 100 version 4 is available online at rackyguys.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.